Här sitter jag med Shane Ward. How are you? I'm really good, thank you very much. You've been in Sweden many times before, I take it, since both of your albums were partly produced here? Yeah, I mean, I'm always in Sweden, to be honest. Um, spent a lot of time on my first album with different producers, uh, like Pear and David, like Joyce and Joseph, uh, Cut Fab and Joe. Uh, but the exciting thing about the second album was I got to spend at least about eight months here. And I worked wow. with Rami, Onto, Saab and Max Martin. Um, and it was it was pretty cool, you know. It was a different experience. Eight months, you must you must know Sweden pretty pretty well. Well, more or less, yeah. yeah. I still need to learn the language, though. I picked up <laughs> probably three words, which is not great in the eight months, but I do like it a lot. So what words? What can you say? Oh, ask me to say it. <laughs> I only know like taxamika, uh, absolute. Taxamika, absolute. Ta oh, so okay. it's not too bad. I, I've got I've got the, I've got the twang down a little yeah. bit, so that's okay. Right. Do you write anything yourself? Because they produced for you a little bit, and yeah. do you write yourself as well? Well, more or less, well, while I was there, we all basically written, written together um, for the album itself. And I mean, I go into writing soon because I've got my tour in the UK, so I'll go to America after the tour, uh, four to six weeks to write anyway, so it's enjoyable, yeah. That's good, because if you don't write the songs yourself, maybe it's hard to relate to them yourself, but if you write the lyrics? Um, uh, well, uh, to me, I think um, the difference, well, the, the great thing is, is I can still relate to them, you know, because while I was there, I mean, I didn't let the label hear any of the songs until they were finished, no. you know, so they was written while I was there, I changed the music, you know, the way I sung them, I added my own bits, which was great, ad-libs, um, just to completely change it up, and obviously, we made sure that when we was writing, we was taking from each of our experiences, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think the difference if I written it would be, I think I'd get an even greater buzz because if I heard my fans singing it back, I'd be like, mm -hmm. well, that's actually my song that I've written, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. And for the fans as well, because then they know it's personal. Well, exactly, it's close to my heart, yeah, yeah. definitely. And you released Breathless last year. I did, yes. Tell me a bit about the album. Yeah, I mean, the, the difference in the album, I mean, um, from the first, it's just, a lot more funkier, sexier, um, and I wanted to make it my age, you know, I'm 23 years old, you know, I'm still a young guy, and I think I needed to make it sexy, it was the right move to do up tempo, and um, to work with the guys as well, just it, cause it's more of an R&B pop feel to it, and mm -hmm. the songs are very sexy indeed, so I'm very proud of it. And You Got Me, is that, You Got Me So, yes. is that the next single? Um, no, the next single is actually going to be Breathless, probably oh. one of the, one of my favourite ballads I've ever sung. Yeah, probably one of the best that I've ever done, to be honest, and I've had written. Um, it's such, such a great song, and I'm able to hit these two amazing notes in it, which I'm very proud of. Yeah. So that's the way I can describe yeah, I it. Yeah, I heard it's it. It's song like, it's, it's really, really high. I call it my Bee Gees, you know. <laughs> can I'm you do that live as oh well? Or was I, it like I can, you know, but it's, I think with that note as well, every time it's quite tiring, you know, because it really takes a lot out, because it's a lot of emotion to go for it. Mm -hmm. But um, when I'm wound up and I'm firing, <laughs> I, c I can go for it, yeah. <laughs> that's good. And Know You Hang Up, it's mm. been really successful on The Voice, our music channel. Yeah. And it's a really, really sexy video. Very sexy indeed, <laughs> yeah. I, asked it, I shot that in um, Kent, uh, in the UK, in London. And no, it, it, it was fantastic, you know. I uh, was with a girl, she was called Gabriella, mm -hmm. you know, and um, she did absolutely fantastic. And I needed to make the video sexy because the song is sexy. It's got a sexy beat to it. Yeah. And uh, as I was saying before to, uh, to someone, um, it's clever using the words, no, you hang up. Because to me, I've done it, you know, mm. back in the past, my friends have done it, loads of people have done it, early stage of relationship. Yeah, I'm going now, <laughs> so you hang up. No, you hang up, no, you. And it's just a game, I thought, if we put that in a song. And the phone bill is just getting bigger. Well, they've got to hang up, because it was my phone. But <laughs> so yeah, definitely, definitely. Right, did I see Gabriella in the video to Breathless as well? Yes, she did. Yeah. How come? Um, I chose, what it was, um, we toyed around with the idea for a long time, what I wanted for the Breathless video. And I don't know, it just came, someone just came up with the idea, what about using the same girl? So at first we went, no, 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 we won't do that. But then we stopped and I think, we actually thought about it and I thought, I've not seen this done in a long time. So we thought of the idea where we wanted to carry on the relationship to make it look even more believable. So you hang up is the early stages, the sexual tension, you know, just like fun and games. Um, where breathless is, is the more serious side of the relationship, the more they get on onto it, the more they fall in love. And yeah. that's what it's about. So when people saw it, they was like, oh, it's the same girl. Mm -hmm. But that's the reason why we used it to make it more believable. Yeah, it's a really nice video. Yeah, it's, thank you very Did you much. get to pick the model out yourself? I'm quite <laughs> lucky in that sense, you know, because my label pick the girls. Oh, they really pick so the good, nice girls. So obviously, have got good <laughs> taste, which is really cool. <laughs> that's cool. And are you single now? I'm not now, I'm in a relationship. Is that with the same girl as before? Yes, it is, yeah, yeah. With Faith? Yeah. All right, cool. Is it, is it going well? Absolutely fantastic, yeah. Really good yeah. indeed.
that's nice. You've been in a band before called Destiny. Yeah. Oh, could you ever great like? Name. Yeah. Could you ever <laughs> consider yourself being in a band or a group again? Um, I, I'm quite happy to be a solo artist. You know, um, but I think at times. I do kind of think to myself, what would it be like if I was in a band, you know, an all guy band, um, whether it was playing guitar and had the drums or whether it was just vocally. Um, and I do kind of, I think sometimes on stage, as much as I love being by myself and just totally enjoying it and taking all like, it's just me. Um, I, I, I kind of wish, imagine I had my best friends on stage with me, you know, and they could enjoy it with me, but I suppose it never happened unless I join a band. No, which I doubt it. Do you play an instrument? I do. Pl I play um, a bit of guitar. You know, I bought a piano, which I've been meaning to learn for the last okay. year. I did. I started the piano, right? Do you play piano? Well, just a little bit. Like, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> not I really. Did, but <laughs> I was playing it, and I had this CD, and it was going great. And I was like, wow, this sounds amazing. And then it said, use your left. And I just froze. I looked at my left hand, and I thought, right, I need a teacher. Yeah. I'm terrible, <laughs> diabolical. So I need to get taught. <laughs> Cool. It's now three years ago since X Factor, right? Well, two and a half. Two yeah, and a half. Two and a half. Does it still affect your career? Do you think? Um, what, what being from the X Factor? Yeah. No, well, I mean positively or negatively. No, I think it's great. You know, I'm very proud that I've come from a talent show, and I think it's important to people as well because a lot of people like to put down talent shows as well, um, and. The I'm just proving to people now that talent can come from a talent show, and just because I come from one doesn't mean that I haven't got it. No. You know, I'm proving to people it's two and a half years later. You know, I'm not just UK bound. You know, I'm, I'm having fantastic success in uh, different parts of Asia, South Africa. I'll go to Australia, go back to America. You know, to um, write and record and release a single. So it's just showing them just because you come from a talent show doesn't mean that you're not talented and you don't have what it takes to be a pop star. Because I think it's a great stepping stone for someone who can't get in the industry. Yeah. You know, it gives them the chance to hopefully live out their dream. Right. And would you say to like a new artist to maybe join a talent show like that? Oh, completely. I'd recommend it to anyone. I mean, if, if you think you have what it takes and you've been trying your hardest for so many years to send off your demos and you don't get nowhere, you go in front of three powerful judges. If they like what they see and they think that you're marketable, if yeah. they think you've got a great voice, you know, they could sell you as an artist, then obviously you've got it. And that could be your big break. So, of course, I recommend it. Right, and you're from a really big family. A huge family, yeah. yeah. Are you all musicians, or is it just you? Um, well, we've all got our voices, yeah. You know what I mean? Do you so sing together, the whole family? Well, not, not quite <laughs> like, like church, but um, I, it was kind of it was great growing up. You know, I'm one of seven. I've got three brothers, three sisters. Kind of weird. Like, a twin Mark. sister as well, I've right? A twin sister, yeah. I've got Mark, Martin, Michael, Lisa, my twin sister Emma, mm -hmm. and my little sister Leona. Very big family. A lot of love over Christmas. It's great. <laughs> but, um, great. No, but we always sing, so it's always been there. And how do you feel with all the fans now? Like, yeah, two and a half years it's been, and you have a lot of female fans. Yeah. How do no, you feel I about it? I'm, I'm happy, of course. I'm a guy at the end of the day. Yeah. I absolutely. I'm not going to deny it. I love it. <laughs> but um, I think um, the great thing is um, for me with the fans as well is that with the new album also, it's it's expanding now. You know, my fan base is changing as well. You know, I've got a lot of young middle age and old as well so the first album will appeal to the older generation second album now is more because it's more r&b pop mm. you know it's obviously going more into a different direction so it's it's pretty cool cool are you into sports as well you're a manchester Huge. united fan massive yeah massive. have you met david beckham i have yeah yeah really i, I, has, I has to met david um i went to a pre-world cup party mm -hmm. his pre-world cup party um, and it, it was quite funny i had a great conversation with him and his mum as well and his mum came over and said i vote for you I said, that's nice of you, thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, and I was speaking to Dave, he's dead small. <laughs> he's, he's a very small guy. But a um, wonderful guy as well. Oh, that's cool. What's in the next nearest future now? Um, well, like I said, I'm in Matora rehearsals at the moment. Starts on the 12th of May, finishes on the 29th of May. I'm um, in the UK and Ireland. And um, I've got a lot of festivals. So once that's finished, I go to Australia, back to South Africa. And like I said, um, America for four to six weeks. So keeping busy. Busy boy. Very busy. Good yeah. luck with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.